This Flutter web app can save data to and retrieve data from local device storage. When I click Save Details to Device, then reload this app and click Fetch Details from Device, we can see that it fetches my saved details from local storage. When I click Clear Details from Device, then reload this app and click Fetch Details from Device, we can see that the details I have saved have been cleared from local storage. Let's code this app from scratch. We start off with a blank VS Code window. The first thing I'll do is open up the folder that I have created specifically for this project. Next, I'll open up the terminal and use the command flutter create demo underscore app to create a new project in a folder called demo underscore app. We can see that the project has now been created. I'll now go to the main dot file to start writing the code. First, I'll change this device to Chrome so that later on I'm able to build this app on the browser. Next, I'll change the title of this app, remove the comments in this code, and remove some of this code that will remain with only a blank scaffold. At the top here, I'll create four variables which will all be empty strings named first name, last name, age, and nationality. Inside the body of the scaffold, we will have a centered single child scroll view with an all round padding of 10, and its child will be a column widget. At the top of this column, we will have a sized box for spacing, then we move on to the title section. Here we will have a text widget that says Safari travel app with a font size of 19 and a font weight of 600. After this, we will have a sized box for spacing. Next, we'll move on to the details input section where we will start with a row whose children will be first, a text widget that says first name, followed by an expanded widget whose child will be a text form field which, when changed, will set the first name to the user's input. Next, we will have a similar row for the last name with a text form field that says the last name variable to the user's input followed by a similar row for age with a text form field that sets the age variable to the user's input and finally a similar row for nationality with a text form field that sets the nationality variable to the user's input. After this we will have a sized box for spacing then move on to the buttons section where we will start with an elevated button whose child will be a text widget that says save details to device and its unpressed property will have a blank function for now which we will later come back and fill out. After this, we will have a sized box for spacing followed by an elevated button that says fetch details from device with a blank function in its unpressed property, then another sized box for spacing and finally an elevated button that says clear details from device with a blank function for now in its unpressed property. Next, I'll create four text editing controllers which I'm going to use to control the contents of the text form fields. The first will be called first name controller, the second last name controller, the third age controller and the fourth national controller. I'll now assign the first name controller to the first name text form field, the last name controller to the last name text form field, the age controller to the age text form field, and the nationality controller to the nationality text form field. Finally, I'll create the functions for saving, fetching, and clearing data from local storage. I'll start with the saving function, which will be an asynchronous function that returns a void future, and I'll call this save details to device. For this app to interact with local storage, we will need a package called shared preferences. So let's head over to pub.dev to check out this package. I'll type shared preferences in this search bar then hit enter. This first result is what I'm looking for so I'll click on it and head over to the installing tab. Here we can see that we can use the command flutter pub add shared underscore preferences to get this package into our project. So let's close this window and open up our terminal. I'll first use the cd command to change the current folder to the demo underscore app folder and then use the flutter pub add shared underscore preferences to get this package. The shared preferences package has now been installed inside our project. Let's go to our pubspec.yaml file and scroll to the dependencies section and here we can see that shared preferences is one of the packages in this project. Back in our main that file we will import this package at the top. Inside the saving function we're going to use the asynchronous get instance method of shared preferences to create a final which we will call prefs. We will use this prefs to set a string list which we will call detail and will comprise of the first name, last name, age, and nationality. After this string list has been created, we will use a function that uses the show dialog method to show a simple dialog that says details saved to device. After this, we will have the function for fetching details.
instance from device. We're going to use the get instance method to create a final which we will call prefs and then we will use the get string list method of prefs to get our details list and put it in a final which we will call details. If the details final we have fetched from local storage is not null, we will use a set state function to set first name to the first item in the details list and first name controller.txt to first name, then last name to the second item in the list and last name controller.txt to last name, then set age to the third item in the list and age controller.txt to age and finally nationality to the fourth item in the list and nationality controller.txt to nationality. After this, we will have an asynchronous function for clearing details from device where we're going to use the get instance method of shared preferences to create a final called prefs which we are going to clear and then show a dialog that says details cleared from device. The last thing we'll do is call save details to device inside the saving button, call fetch details from device inside the fetching button and call clear details from device inside the clearing button. We are done writing our code. So let's save this project and run this up to check it out. Our app has now been built. I'll close this inspector tab, close this debug console and zoom in on our app window. I'll start by filling in these details and then I'll click save details to device. When I reload or refresh this app, our details fields go back to being blank. But when I click fetch details from device, our details get fetched from local storage and our details fields get updated. When I click clear details from device and then reload or refresh this app and then click fetch details from device, our details fields still remain blank because there is no data in local storage to be fetched. And that is how you work with local storage in a web app in Flutter to save, fetch, and clear data from the device. If you have enjoyed this video and found value in it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it useful as well. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel with the notifications turned on so that you get updated every time I upload a new video.